first thing you're gonna need is a standard package of mac and cheese. I like to use Kraft. You're gonna add the water, just as instructed on the package. I prefer to use filtered water because I think it makes it taste better, but you can use tap water as well. The next thing you're gonna do is open the cheese packet and add it. Make sure you add all of the cheese as possible because you're gonna be adding some additional cheese and that's how you're gonna jazz up the mac and cheese. So make sure you get it all out there. Then you're gonna transfer it into a mini loaf pan. I like this one. Make sure the cheese is evenly dispersed. Then you're gonna add your own type of cheese. I, in this video, use Mexican blend. You can use mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you prefer. I also like to add American cheese because I think it gives a nice flavor. So here I am placing a slice of cheese. The next special ingredient is panko breadcrumbs. I recommend using a tablespoon. Here I've measured out a tablespoon. Disperse it evenly along the top of the cheese and mac. And then the final step is to bake it. I recommend putting it in for 375 for 20 minutes. Very simple. Get your oven preheated once it's ready, plop, pop it in the oven, and then bake it for 20 minutes, and there you go, the finished product. It tastes a little bit better than the store-bought. Bon appetit!